Raise your vibration by tuning in to Awakening Code Radio every Tuesday night here on KX93.5. And I'm glad that we had a chance. We actually had dinner together beforehand. I don't always do that, but we had enough time to get a little feel for what you're about and what you do. And I know that your path is just full of um, walking this journey, uh, uh, opening the doors. You started, it sounded like, as a massage therapist and then realized that there was something much greater happening as you were sharing this intimate space in touch with people. And it sounded like it opened up to Reiki and energy flow and, and your whole life now. You, you talk so eloquently about um, living in this space of understanding the, the dynamics of energy and connection and soulful living. Yes, yes. It's been quite a journey, a very spiritual one for me. It started off spiritual in high school, and it's just transformed through massage and energy work and now transitioning into even more. And it's just an amazing adventure and spiritual journey. And was the spiritual part of your existence, let me see, I'm going to kill a couple mics here. Was the spiritual part of your uh, early, like you say, in high school, was that Mm -hmm. more traditional religion? I was raised with a traditional Catholic upbringing, and I just decided that it didn't resonate with me, and I was just exploring other paths and trying to kind of find my own way, and um, it's led me to a bunch of amazing experiences and teachings. Well, the way it works, and we talk about that all the time, that once you're on that that path of awakening, and that's why we always Mm -hmm. put the ING instead of the ED at the end of it, is I'm convinced that we can be on that path of awakening, opening, enlightening for the rest of our lives here, that we, there is no end to that. So someone can't just go, I'm awakened or I'm enlightened. I've reached the place and look at me and don't look at you because you haven't gotten that place yet. We're all awakening. And the joy of it is that we get to feel the way, once we're in that flow, we get to feel that it affirms our, our path by synchronistic uh, co- coincidental meetings you put out there to the universe I need this or what about this or a person that could share this and and they just manifest they, they there they are mm-hmm. um, and it sounds like from what you've shared that that's you've been your life for at least the last 10 years yes and it, I noticed even recently mostly this year it's just been so synchronistic and things are manifesting so much faster now and our dreams are unfolding at such a rapid pace and it's just a magical experience. It feels like that. I mean, Mm -hmm. a lot of people, I know Michelle has this conversation more often in groups than I do, but the the, the big word is acceleration, Mm -hmm. that we are feeling this momentum now behind it. And I I always fall back to, I, I do have to believe that social media has been a huge part of it, that we were all alone, whether we were people seeing 1111 or time prompts or calling ourselves spiritual instead of religious, we were sort of the outcasts in any town or community. You were just that oddball. And you didn't know that how many people like that were out there until we could connect through social media. And all of a sudden there's this growing mass, this energy, this movement, the power, just driving it now. Every day there's just people, and we can share these ideas instantly and it, it's truly been the paradigm shifter, I think. And we're just in the infancy of what this social media is going to do, I think, in the, in the grand scheme of things. Um, but it definitely, the, the, the reaction is, is that accelerating, acceleration is the word. That, mm-hmm. you know, we could talk that Jesus was talking about a paradigm shift. And here now, we are, and that was voice to voice. They, didn't, they weren't writing Jesus' words down for 60, 70 years after he spoke them. So it took a long time for a message to get around the world. Now we share something like this. This is going streaming through radio waves. It's streaming through the Internet. I mean, people can comment it while we're doing it. I mean, it's, it's such a game changer. And I think we just need to hang on and keep ourselves grounded uh, in the process because I think it's going to be an exciting ride uh, with tons of payoff. Um, if, if something is serving to open your heart, opening your capacity to love and forgive. That's a wonderful thing. But it also can be so overwhelming if it is happening fast. If you've not been in that place where it's comfortable to be in a spot of forgiveness or to share love easily or even compliments easy or just look in the eyes of someone across from you and know that you're sharing this soul connection. If that's not been your reality, which I would say at least here in America, that is not 
the common reality. You know, we pretend that people aren't even next to us in elevators or grocery stores. We're all sort of in our little bubble. It can be a very jarring ride. So um, that was part of my reason for wanting to even create this show is to that we're all knowing that we've built a community and there's such a wonderful community of people. I want to just always mention the people that listen to this show every week and, and I stop myself from doing it because I know I'm going to feel like I'm leaving a dozen people out. But there are people that uh, write into the show all week long, connect with me. I'm happy to connect with you. We love to hear from you. Somebody will always respond to you if you leave a message in our private message board um, because we feel that this is all about connection. That's what's truly happening is that there's no above, no below, that we are all providing some piece of the puzzle of this awakening process, and we want to honor all of it. Um, and we happen to get an opportunity to be in a beautiful radio station to do it and share, but we value all input, and we've met some amazing people doing some profound work authors, artists, musicians. Um, it's just, it, it doesn't seem to end. Energy workers, practitioners. It, it's so wonderful that what this has provided for me and, and these conversations I've gotten to have and share and know that they're going out to a broader audience and for each one of these people like you <laughs> that we, you know, and you can get real close to the mic when you oh, talk. Just, that's okay. Um, so you do massage at a local beautiful hotel here, the Surf and Sand. We can give a shout out to them. We love supporting all of our our local businesses. And um, do you feel that, is there any intentionality when you do massage? Are you sort of sneaking in energy work or do you ever talk about it with your clients? No, I don't usually talk about it unless they bring it up or... Um or can feel, sometimes they can feel it when I'm doing the energy work, um, if they're extremely sensitive, but usually it, if it'll come through, through the massage, and if they're open to receiving it, they will receive the healing. If they're not, then they probably won't receive much of anything. It's all about how open the person is to the energy that's being um, given to them. Awakening Code Radio is available on podcast. Visit www.kx935.com. Click podcasts, then scroll to Awakening Code's previous shows. <laughs> 